Hey guys, my name is Jeremy with TheWarriorSolution.com. In this real quick video, I'm going to show you how to install arguably the most annoying and difficult to install part of any AR-15 lower receiver build. This is the front takedown pin that goes into the front holes here in your AR-15 lower receiver. If you look at your lower carefully, you'll see that there is a very small hole right here on the right side of those pins. That hole is going to capture the spring and the detent that interact with your takedown pin to hold it in place and prevent it from actually physically coming out of the rifle as you take it apart to clean it and disassemble it, etc. You're going to need a couple of small tools. This is the secret sauce. This is called a clevis pin. I did not come up with this idea. I actually learned this from Tactical Toolbox. I'm pretty sure he learned it from someone else. I don't know who the original person was that came up with this idea, but it is gold. If you go to your local hardware store, big box store, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, you'll find these in the fastener department. At my store, it looks like this. They come in a big bin, basically a, a shelf, and they've got all kinds of different sizes and such. So it's very important that you get the one quarter inch option because that is the exact dimension of your takedown pin. The manufacturing tolerances on these are <laughs> pretty lenient. So I actually physically took my lower receiver into the store and tested each pin before I bought a couple. If you're ordering these online, go ahead and order at least two because they may or may not actually be a quarter inch and it would be kind of sucky if you ordered one and it didn't actually fit. So the ones that I tested, two went in just fine, two did not, so be aware of that. How to do this. Take your clevis pin, insert it from the right so that one of the holes in the clevis pin directly aligns with the hole in the receiver. Drop your spring in. Drop your detent in. And then grab, in this case I'm going to just use an Allen wrench, grab a pin, a punch, Allen wrench, whatever, that fits into that hole. You're going to compress the spring. I'm going to go to the side view here so you can see. You're going to compress the spring and the detent just to the point where you can see the Allen wrench there in the in the gap. So that's the detent, that's the Allen wrench, and then I'm going to rotate the Allen wrench 90 degrees so that the pin rotates in the receiver like so. Don't need that anymore. So now the spring and the detent are being captured by the clevis pin. Now all I have to do is take the front takedown pin here. You can tell the difference between the front and the rear because the front is physically longer and it also has a flat portion here on the back that interacts with the flat portion of the receiver. So I'm going to take that flat portion where the groove lines up, hold the front against my clevis pin like so, and basically just hold pressure, not a whole lot, but pressure so that the pins are being pushed against each other. And then I'm going to slide the takedown pin over the top of the clevis pin, like so. So now my takedown pin is captured by that spring and detent and is now installed. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.